check that one out. Rob, check the numbers on this. This could be the most insane video I've ever done. And I got conned. I think I may have got the best value golf clubs ever from Timu. I know. Hi everyone, my name's James Robinson and welcome back to this channel. I think I've actually been ripped off there. You can see I have opened this already. Guys, we've been in the studio with this club. Oh, check that one out. Rob, check the numbers on this. Go on. Club is the keyword. And I think I've been duped a little bit because I thought this was going to be exceptional value. T moves the place a little bit like Wish.com where you kind of get really, really good deals, isn't it? So as I've opened it up, I thought, you know what? There definitely isn't a full set of clubs in here. And as I kind of got to the point inside, which we're going to look at, basically a driver. Now it's a driver that, let's be fair, if you look at the secondhand market and things you can buy, generally they'll look a little bit better than this. But I was thinking, you know what, if it's a full set and it's like a set of irons, maybe a five iron, a seven iron, a nine iron and a driver, then it might be great for someone starting out. Um, this is what we're left with. Let's take it out there. Let's see just how it performs. Because to be honest, it might be a little bit deceiving. We've been in the studio with this and I'm going to kick things off by giving you this. That's as good as I've got. If I swung like that every... Rob, look at this! There's a taster. So as an interesting test, let's play the last few holes here at Woolley Park Golf Club with this 34 pound Timu driver of which I feel like I might have been conned a little bit, but realistically that's me just not looking at the fine print. So I hold my hands up for that. But it's a very interesting video title and wait till you see the numbers. I can't wait to show you the numbers because I find it really interesting how you can spend so little on a driver that let's face it, looks so shit, doesn't tell you what loft it is, doesn't tell you what shaft flex it is, and you can hit drives like this one. Look at this! So, let's tee off. This is the 16th hole, quite a difficult hole here actually at Woolley Park Golf. If you need a good drive away, and I'll hit one. I've got the Mizuno ST Max driver in the bag as well. To this, Rob, bring it in. Look at this. That looks like I don't know where it's gonna go. It looks horrendous, that, doesn't it? I mean, like a top golf driver. it does, it does, just like that. Probably not as good a quality either. If you were a golfer and you bought this, what would you be thinking? Right. Oh, I've marked it by doing that. I've marked it, right. I'm not going to pick a shot. I'm just going to try and hit one. Stay there. That's actually done. Not too bad, has it? In the air, I thought that was going to... So we hit that maybe a, a, a little bit healy, mainly at the middle, but a little bit healy maybe. And I... Right. Mizuno. So you could buy 12 of those for this. £449. If you bought in the wrong place, £499. Because the big thing here is if I put a bad swing on this, it's just still not going to go well, is it? There is a huge difference there. Like a huge difference. No, <laughs> that is massive. There might be like a... A very similar strike as well, actually. I'll show you where they've finished, and I'll show you the difference in maybe what you're getting for your money. Because that didn't feel like a bad shot either. It looks terrible, doesn't it? And interestingly, I, I often think, you don't, definitely not paying for the head cover, but I often think when buying golf clubs, you're paying for the consistency of the club. So for £39 or £34.99, I, I got free delivery because I've actually bought quite a lot of stuff off Timu to test for you guys. Now there's more. I actually got, this is a totally different thing, but I bought these golf balls from Timu, PGM. Let's test these, test these another day, but they're a three piece, literally it says three piece, urethane ball. So could that rival a Pro V1? These were cheap as well. They don't even come in a box. They come in a little sachet of which I think I've broken. Oh no, that's another video coming soon. But golf balls from Timu, are they any good? You'll find out soon. But you're paying for time after time after time, 160 mile an hour ball speed, 2,200 spin, 270 yards carry. That's generally what you're paying for. As soon as you start going cheaper than that, if you give it a really good golf swing and get a little bit lucky with how the shaft reacts and the head reacts and everything else, you might get that number. But you might never get that number again. And that's where, I don't know. So we managed to get within the 150 yard marker. We're in the rough, but the Mizuno driver's there. 
And I think, I mean, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you how far we've got. I'll tell you how far we would have from the Mizuno. The Mizuno's obviously in the fairway as well. 150 playing 153. So that's going to be like probably an eight iron for me here. My, I might club up a uh, downwind, aren't we? I'm going to clean and place this because it is very muddy and it is winter. Um, I know I'm not on the fairway, but fair's always fair, isn't it? So remember 150, because I think the Mizuno, especially with the angle, we've managed to take like a better attacking line with the Mizuno. And that's where a driver isn't just how far can it go, it's where can I aim it and where can I hit it. Didn't really know where that one was going to go, to be honest, but still got an A time. We could still, we could still birdie this, realistically. Can we get this up there? That's all over it as well. Birdie with the Timu driver. Rob, how close was that? Did you get the zoom as well? Oh, he tried to get the zoom. The intern's doing really well though. Guys, hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying Rob's camera work. And I'd love to tell you a story while we're walking to this Mizuno ball. I don't have a story in mind and it's that longer walk, I feel like I'm running out already. But what, what would you be happy paying for a driver? So if I showed you some drivers on screen now from Golf Clubs for Cash that you could get for 34 quid, I guarantee they're probably better than this. And I haven't looked, I will look in the edit and put it on, and I would think it's gonna be a tailor-made R7 or like a bad condition Ping G10 maybe. Would you concur with that, Rob? I think that's probably about right, isn't it? So, oh, G20. Oh, I don't know about that. We had 150, and from this drive, we have 102. 50 yards. Yes, it's on the angle. It's not quite a 50-yard difference, but it's certainly a huge difference, isn't it? Uh, this is a zero, by the way. The other one's a two, I think. So much easier than hitting that eight iron. Watch the eight iron be closer now. And I guess that is what you pay for, isn't it? 50 yards, like on one hole with one wedge and one eight iron, you might get closer with the wedge or the eight iron over however many holes you hit driver on your golf course, which is probably taking away par threes, maybe the odd intricate par four, 13 holes, 50 yards, 13 holes, 500, 650 yard difference. There's your title right there. 650 yard difference with a driver. Is that clickbait, Rob? No. The maths, the maths speaks for itself, doesn't it? So the wedge was online, but the wedge has actually gone long. We have an easier put with the eight iron from the Timu driver. That flags right at the back, I didn't realize. So obviously, I think you can see where it's pitched actually, can't you? And then gone down here. So not a bad shot at all, like realistically. If you pitch an eight iron 10 yards short here like normal, unless there's a huge ridge here like there is, I must have got to here and then gone down. So quite unlucky really. We'll have a go for the birdie with the Timu though. I always think there's more substance to these videos, you know, rather than just testing. There's birdie with, oh. Thanks mate. I thought the eight iron was really good as well. If you hit 10 eight irons and 10 wedges, do you reckon you'd be a lot closer with wedges? Yeah. Oh. Equally close with birdie with each. Guys, we're gonna finish off the round just with the Timu driver and see if we can make a couple of pars. Birdies are gonna be, birdies are gonna be excellent second shots from a distance, potentially 50 yards further back like you've seen. Don't go anywhere because we're going to jump in the studio. I'm going to show you the variety of numbers we've had with this driver. So I was ready to give up on it, and then this happened. That's as good as I've got. If I swung like that every... Rob, look at this! And once again, guys, I'm a believer in you get what you pay for. By the way, how good is that going to look? A new huge pot bunker on the second hole here at Woolly Park, just reminiscent of the one, actually, that's over on that green. That's going to look amazing. I can't wait for that. But back to this driver, I'm now gonna hit a shot on what I find is the hardest hole in this golf course. There's a lake on the left-hand side. We might be saying goodbye to the TaylorMade stripe. There's every chance. So if I don't know where this ball's gonna go, we're into the wind and I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna try 
and aim up the right hand side near the 150 marker and just let it move back. I feel like with a Mizuno driver, I mean, and the reason why I wanted to use a Mizuno driver was A, because I was testing it today and I've, I've kind of got used to it a little bit, but it's not a fitted driver for me. That is a nine and a half degree driver off the rack with a stiff shaft. It's not like a fitted Callaway, a fitted TaylorMade, a fitted Titleist. It is just a Joe Bloggs driver. So if I was fitted for that driver, would it be more than a 650 yard difference, Rob? There's every chance, isn't there? Right. We're gonna have to keep this low. So it hasn't drawn. Again, it's in play. And it's, it's a good ball flight. Like if I was new to golf and I had never hit a golf club before in my life and I hit that one, it's exactly the same shot. So the shafts may be performing all right for me there. The KVV shaft we'll go with. But realistically, how good is it? It's shit, isn't it? I'm actually grateful it didn't come as a full set because if the driver's this bad, imagine what the full set would have been like. And I've never shopped on Timu before. I know a good friend of mine, Gary Martin, has shopped on Timu quite a lot. He buys golf stuff, he buys gifts for his partner, he buys all sorts of stuff. And he kind of vouches by it. He says, look, yeah, some of it's not very good, but some of it actually, if you're looking for the perfect gift, it's perfect. And bearing in mind, this is winter golf now. You can probably tell we're off the forward tees and where we'd normally be in the summer. But then because of the temperature and the wind, I think it sort of evens itself out. I'm very happy we've not gone in there. That is my nemesis. And that's where usually my bad shots go. And the ball doesn't seem to be, the dispersion isn't that bad. That's what I want to say. Out here, the dispersion is generally okay. We hit the fairway here, the distance is very bad. The distance, it doesn't go anywhere at all. But the beauty about that is we're probably 220 yards out here and it's driver off the deck. Because it's oversized, because it has lots of loft on it. How's that oversized, by the way? It's a lot smaller, isn't it? Like you look at, I've just thought about that, oversized. And then what's oversized about that one on the left? Shaft length is struggling as well by an inch. I also bought another driver off Timu, so that driver's coming soon. That one's there. That one was £90 by itself. I thought, to be honest, 90 quid maybe. I always think about the second-hand market. For 90 quid, you can get a pretty decent driver, so I would hope that is a pretty decent driver. We will see. I'll clean and place this. It's pitched here and come back, so we're not doing the best with a potential run out. This would be one hell of a birdie, wouldn't it? Stay there. Oh dear, look at that go. I still don't think that's there. I hit that really good as well. Look at that for a strike. Rob, your show me your face there. Terrible. It sounded terrible. It sounded awful. I thought it felt alright, to be honest. <laughs> Snob. Two pretty well struck Timu drivers. And this is what we're left with. We're short sided. It's not the epitome of ideal and i don't think that even makes sense and we're now struggling to make a par after two pretty all right golf swings as well this is the one thing i'll say if you are buying mega budget you can't always tell if you're playing well or not because the shafts are that inconsistent the clubs are that inconsistent it's very difficult to tell so if you are using clubs like this i would delve into the second hand market and see what you can get i don't think we've got much room to work with here rob can't blame the driver there can I now but I can blame the location it's put us in realistically so there's that I'll get the divot in a moment and I don't think I would have been there if it wasn't for the driver how's a four though go on guys let's jump in the studio let's see just how this driver does perform I've been kind of just edging it in all video it's inconsistent but it's really funny. So as I've already mentioned, things got a little bit out of hand. 30 quid, I thought this was like a full set. I knew it was probably too good to be true, but when I commit to a test and I commit to a review, that's exactly what we do. I'm not holding out much hope for this. Um, you've already seen how it kind of goes out on the golf course. And again, we have to have our budget hats on here. We have to have our this was 30 pound hats on because I'm not anticipating this to go as far as a Stealth 2 or a QI 10 or 
if I was to hit a broom handle or something like that. So I don't need to talk much about the looks because we've done that already out there. Help if I was set on driver, Rob. My fault. That actually felt okay as well, worryingly. I was thinking that might be all right. You know what? Right, hear me out here. That, we've tested a couple of drivers today, and that ain't the worst, Rob, is it? That's one, I mean, the ball speed's horrendous in fairness, but, like, if you want something that goes, I say this after one shot on the sim, it's a carbon copy again. What I love about stuff like this is if you want to get into golf, and you don't want to spend a lot of money on stuff. There's so many things out there that's gone 250 total. Fair enough, like if I'm going to test a new driver, it might even creep up to 290, 300, obviously rolling out. It might pitch around 270 to 280, depending on the day and what I've had for breakfast. But 30 quid's 30 quid, and 250 yards is 250 yards. And again, that's like a carbon copy. We're keeping these all in play. They're all pitching at around the same distance. And that's 255 yards, 1900 spin, only 150 ball speed. The thing that's obviously lacking here is the ball speed. You'll see there's no actual loft on here. It's just oversized. It's almost like a, it's almost like a joke, isn't it? I feel like Anton Deck are gonna, now call it oversized. They're gonna pop out of the driving range. But, That's the first one I've like properly got through as well. A little bit higher, a little bit further, pitching at two. It's gone left, but guys, would you spend 30 quid on this? Or I think I know what most people would do. You'd get to golf clubs for cash, wouldn't you? And buy a kind of 30 quid. You can get like an old, really old, like tailor-made R5 or R7 for that price. That's as good as I've got. If I swung like that every... Rob, look at this! Go! It's 200 and... 1999 spin. Party like it's 1999. 155 ball, 105 club head. Is it me that's the problem here? 30 pounds. Now, we've literally said, haven't we, Rob? We've been loads of testing today. If you want to pan round, Rob, and show them exactly what we've been doing. We've had a busy day, but... This is like back end of the day, we thought, you know, we'll do the numbers anyway. Like I thought I was getting a full set of clubs for this and I haven't, I've just got that. Very, very loose terminology on the website there, by the way, because I got caught out with that. But if that's the swing I put on, it's another one. I'm just committing to it more there, to be honest. That's pitched at 241. So you can sort of see how I thought they were the same. Still lower spin, but that's gone 261. You could play good golf with this. Guys, let's get back on the golf course. Let's, now I, because I haven't done the outside bit yet, the way I've structured these videos, and I'm already really, really excited with this, and I probably shouldn't be. I'll oh, check that one out. Rob, check the numbers on this. Go on. Go on, carry. This could be the most insane video I've ever done, and I got conned. So, very, very interesting numbers, and that is a bogey on this 17th hole, if that ever goes in the hole. And like I said, interesting. Let's hit one more off this final tee. I'm gonna hit the Mizuno again. I'm gonna try and hit them both as hard as I physically can. I'm really hoping that this Timu driver doesn't disintegrate at the top of my backswing and cause me some damage, because I know the Mizuno probably won't do that as well. Right, we'll set the stall out with the 499 pound one. Why are head covers so difficult to get off? And then we're going to whale on the Timu driver. I'm just going to try and get it over. So if we go round the corner and over here, you can see there's a big tractor down there, so we're not going to finish the hole out. But just a nice draw. There. Is that going to hit that tractor? That's like the perfect line, and I've only just thought that they're a bit closer <laughs> than what I thought, but... That's a good shot, isn't it, for the... <laughs> I think it's fair to say that this one isn't going to go that far. Same line, same shot. 
again, it's like you can't really turn it, can you? It's not a bad shot and it's a very, very weak attempt. Again, it struck out the middle. Let's get down there. Oh, let's get down there and let's see where they are. It could be another 50 yarder. 650 yards difference over 18 holes. That's what you're paying for. 48.2, playing 46.5. So it's playing 50, 650 yards. See you tomorrow. Bye.